actors like that, they're just like, yeah, we're on camera. You know, for them it's every day. <laughs> well, this is your moment to be in the spotlight. <laughs> right, yeah, exactly, so exactly. Your show is a little off the hook this season. A little what? Off the hook. It's just decided like there was nothing they wouldn't try and it's been a little crazy. Yes. So, where is it going? <laughs> what? I can't tell you where We have no going. idea. We hope you do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we need some ideas. We don't, we're out of ideas. <laughs> I doubt that sincerely. Yeah. So we'll share a few. <laughs> I, you know what's funny? I don't know off the hook. I like that. I like that way of looking at it. But we just tried to say that Molly's off the hook. You know, that the show is moving in a different direction, a whole new world, kind of. But that um, Molly is sort of like in her warrior mode, and she's got nothing left to lose. And so we get to explore a whole side of her that, that the show didn't look at last year. It looked at her more in the mom mode. And so now we're looking at her more as like warrior. She's Cassandra. She knows something very bad is happening, and nobody will believe her. And so just that energy uh, to try to save the world, that's that's sort of how we looked at it. Yeah, we wanted to we wanted to really hit the ground running and, and, and shake things up in the first episode. And so when we meet her, she's in this recovery center that's you know, a little bit almost like a you know mental hospital. Uh, and and she suffered all this sort of traumatic loss and, and these different things that have happened to her. And we double back and see how she got to that point. Uh, and then while she's in this recovery center, she, she she starts to see that there are these strange, these mysterious deaths that are happening, and that maybe they're tied to what happened to her in space. But because of what happened to her, uh, because of she's in this questionable mental state, nobody believes her. And, you know, and so she sets off on trying to, to to dig into this mystery, and it puts her in the path of Jeffrey D. Morgan. And and, um, and so so in terms of where it's going, um, you know, she's going to get the answers that she's seeking for, and it's going to lead to some some big revelations about herself and and. Um, and the sun that you know slipped off into the night uh, with the Good Samaritans, and, and um, so yeah, it, it's great. We're saying it's it's much more in that warrior mode of like this fight for survival that's going to push her to some new and provocative places. And, and I also think what we said is look, there's only 13 episodes. On Monday, we gotta have big twists. I mean, I love that. I think viewers love that. So we're gonna we have big moves every week. It's huge revelations. It's not one of these things where it's like, you know, the information is dribbled in. We're going to show lots of, we're going to turn, oh, thank you. We're going to turn lots of cards every week as we get to the big finish and reveal, A, what's really going on, and B, the, the, the thread that holds it all together is what happened to John. How did he die and why did he die? And all of that mystery is going to be uh, played out across the season. Well, that's such a relationship between Molly and Jane. JD is, you know, they're, they're completely opposites. She's a scientist, she's an astronaut, somebody with you know, dual PhDs, he's a guy, he's a cop, a little bit of a, a cop of the future, very much like a, a guy who works on instinct and works by the gut, uh, used to people lying to him. Uh, we talk about them a lot as like Redford Dunaway, you know, three days of the conjurer. Two totally opposite people, uh, but who need each other. She needs an ally in this fight, this thing that she's trying to, to this mystery she's trying to dig into. He needs to solve this case. And so that you know, that mutual need pulls them together. And I think eventually, you know, he's going to see some stuff. She's going to turn his world upside down. Right. And uh, he's going to be forced to, to face the fact that that, that the, the world, the universe, is not as he as he thought. Right. I think also to that to, to, to that question, one of the things we wanted to do was make Jeffrey Dean, make JD, us. You know, the one, the person who's not going to go, oh, okay, there's aliens here. I get you. We're going to be skeptical, and we're going to need some seriously hard proof before I'm going to sign up for that. And that doesn't happen instantly. That takes a few episodes for him to get there, as he slowly begins to understand that she may not be crazy. That there may actually be something to what she's. what she is selling. It's something that the show didn't have last season. There wasn't, like, just an everyman character. You know, they were, like, astronauts and, and a brilliant roboticist and, and Japanese billionaire businessmen and all these sort of, like, extraordinary figures. But there wasn't somebody in the middle of that saying, what the hell are you talking about, aliens, you know? And, and so he really gives us the opportunity for that. Two will be kind of a run, so will it be more high speed than like because you said you yes. 
show the, the show is definitely a high speed pretty much throughout the season. I, I, and and I would say that the, the, the thriller elements start in the beginning and, and and drive us all the way to and you know the benefit of having thirteen episodes instead of twenty two is that you can set up these questions and, and, and answer them fairly quickly and, and and move on to the next big part of the mystery. And uh, and I feel like we've done that really well this year and so we've been able to, to keep up the pace but do it in a way that uh, it's going to feel a little off the hook at the beginning, but hopefully it feels organic and natural to the stories we go through. Do you have an idea of where you want to go in season three? Do you know what happened after? <laughs> well, let me just say, we just finished shooting season two last Wednesday. I need to lay down somewhere <laughs> for like a month and then begin to think about where season three might go. We have kicked around some ideas, mainly ideas that we almost used this year and then kind of got pushed aside on That idea. Can you expect a big cliffhanger at the end of the season? Uh, not really in the show. There's not really a true well, cliffhanger. We do what we, you know, in the first season we wanted to tell a self-contained story. So that at the end of the at the end of the season, you know, you never know when you start like these summer shows. We were meant to be a limited series. We didn't know if we'd come back. So we wanted to make sure it was satisfying so the audiences would stay away through. And we kept that same idea this season. So so it's its own self-contained story. There's a big blockbuster finale. And then we're going to leave just a few threads open that you go, oh, okay, I can see where this is going to go. Right. Or, or I wonder where this is going to go next year because something, a few, yeah, like little threads are open in. Can you briefly talk about the parallel journey of the hybrid child versus Ethan? Because those are pivotal characters. Those are what? really the big question of the first season, like when are those two things going to collide? They, they seem like disparate storylines in a sense of the artificial intelligence and uh, and the extraterrestrial. And in fact, a lot of, like even the very first days I went out to to uh, pitch the show and sell the show, a lot of people asked, why did you, why did you put these two storylines in? And to me, it was always about, uh, it wasn't about those two things, it was about this family. And it was also about how human beings adapt to survive. And so that, within those two, um, Ethan and the offspring, we get a chance to see, to ask those questions about what it means to be human. And, you know, do you have to be human to have humanity? And those, both of those characters are prisms that we can look at that through it and, and ask those questions and play them out in a dramatic way. And, uh, and, and safe to say that those two storylines continue to, to uh, collide and influence each other as we go along. Rapidly. Um, I, I, it's hard without giving it away. So. 